final non-conference game for Oregon State. Rich Burke along with Eddie Howes here in Corvallis. OSU wins it by 21. Actually, the game wasn't even that close. And the big man for Oregon State, Kyler Kelly, the seven-foot guy who can jump, ended up with 14 points, two shy of his career high. Yeah, and he had four blocks as well. He's just super active. When you talk about him, the first thing you think about is block shots because he leads the nation in those. But what he's really good at is just being around the rim. He, he doesn't only affect the shot by blocking it, he affects the shots where guys don't even want to take it and end up traveling. And we talk about Trace Tinkle. How good is he? Today he didn't have his shot going, but he stayed attacking, was able to get to the free throw line 13 times, going 11 for 13. He just played a really good game, and right there, just big boy basket right there. And then there's Steven Thompson, Jr., one of 16 in his last game. He went 8 of 15 in this one. And that's how you bounce back. You come back after putting your time into the gym, you charge that one to the game, and you come out aggressive. And he slips, slide, hopping and gliding all over the place. Look at the flotation device off the glass playing defense, everything rolling for him tonight. This is how you bounce back. You don't go sulk. You don't go worried about your game. You trust your work that you put in, and this is the result. Oregon State had five players in double figures, led by these three, Tinkle Thompson and Kelly. And look at Kyler Kelly, six of six from the floor, along with eight rebounds in the four blocks. Yeah, he's always around the basket. And if you don't get a body on him, he will get the offensive rebound. And if you don't get a body on him when the guard drives from the weak side, he's going to get a lob and a dunk. So uh, just a very efficient game by him on both sides of the court. All right, Eddie, it's been fun. That's it for Oregon State in non-conference play. The next play in their Pac-12 opener, Civil War basketball, Saturday, January 5th in Eugene, 5 o'clock on Pac-12 Network.